talk now? I'm talking. What are you talking about? Alright, I need a manly voice. Derek, get in there. <laughs> Her voice is just so soft that it doesn't carry enough. Doesn't I can hear it. anything? I can hear it, but it's like a soft, faded voice. That's why with Rachel, I had it kind of close. Okay. Talk. So, I, I can just say anything. Right? I hear him fine. <laughs> <laughs> I really do. That's, That's like pretty crisp look there. Alright, talk now. Okay, here's a joke. I hear him so. just fine. <laughs> well, I didn't even get to my joke. <laughs> Damn. Cock block you are. Can I you sit now? Can you sit now right there? Well, you're asking me about right now, right? So if I'm who I am right now, and money is not an object. Okay, that's good. I think it would be good. And I'm still going to be, I'm still going to go out. I'm still going to be really busy and hardworking and all that stuff. I'm still going to do all the stuff I want to do, you know, like, like, science. I want to go work, I want to go work, I want to go act, model, or any of that stuff. Those are things I will do anyway, money or no money. Because how, okay, how would you throw something? Like, toss it over, so now we're going to find out. Okay. Will it break? Let's find will it, it, will it, it break? Wait, where did you go? Okay, actually, yeah, we gotta go for it. I was just gonna throw it off the edge. If I was just, if I had money and I wasn't going to, we could go to the do anything. We could go to the church. Ah, okay. Would, Fine, know, we'll go to the corner. No one, I wouldn't want to be with me even, right, even then. I wouldn't want to be with me. <laughs> uh, be careful now. Oh, beautiful. Shattered? Oh, shattered? <laughs> yeah. I, I'm putting my hand in. It's like a candy. It's like mm. fun. Well, honestly, when it happened, when I told you about what happened when I it was in the my professor's office, right? Mm -hmm. It really reminded me of my big breakup why because this thing i had devoted so many so many hours to all my money and all my time and all i do is think about this i live and breathe medicine i live and breathe school and i got really good at it you know i got good at it everybody knew me for it and this is what I want to do and I became a person to these other people that I became a person that that people saw me as someone who could do it you know so so that idea had been in my head for a long time and I have grown up with that idea of myself in that position and I didn't you know and in one day, in one day, it all basically just ended, you know. It, I knew the situation was bad. I knew that I had to, I had a lot to work on. I knew I had to do a lot of work, but it just feels like in one day, it was just telling me, they told me, for you to continue on this path, you basically need to earn another degree. And that's another how many years, and this is another how many dollars, how much money. And I couldn't do it. And it was, I mean, they asked me to get rid of my identity. I don't know who I am without it. I don't know what I would do. And I don't see myself being happy doing something else because I talked myself into doing this thing. And a lot of a lot of my good a lot of the good things in my life have come from it from this chase that I was in. So if I don't have it anymore, then what am I? Who am I? What do I do with all this time and knowledge I spent in this one thing? And I've, you know, um, she never told me why she wanted to leave. And it's very weird, like. It's kind of silly to think that Tell me what to do with my It's kind of hard to think I would be happy in something else right now. So it's, 
I'm still looking. I'm still trying to figure out how can I get the same amount of meaning in my own life doing something else that isn't it, even though I spent half of my life chasing after it.